Hello. In this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get up uh, and running with Kali Linux on one of the newer M1 Macs. And so this will actually work for any Mac, um, but it is a paid paid uh, tool that you have to download. So as of the time of this recording, which is early February 2022, um, there are some free options for running virtual machines on an M1 Mac. However, um, they're not super easy to install, and since this is a beginner class, uh, I'm going to point you in this direction. Um, also, I, you know, I got a couple of them up and running, and they weren't super stable, which you know just can lead to a lot of frustration. So, I think this is the for now. You know, until that the the free side catches up with the M1 Max, this is probably the easiest way uh, to do this. And so, um, the software is called Parallels. Uh, it's actually fantastic. It's 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 really slick. You're going to find this process really easy. I promise. Um, and so the first thing obviously you need to do is buy Parallels. And so, um, you know, you click this down arrow, we're buying a new license and um, you definitely want the students option, right? So it's gonna be about 40 bucks. Um, go ahead and buy it, go ahead and download it. Um, I've already done so, so I'm not gonna do it in the video. Uh, one thing to pay attention to though is after you finish your purchase, you are going to get a license key, uh, you know, a long string of, of uh, numbers and letters. Make sure to grab that license key, stick it somewhere, throw it in a, um, you know, a text file, throw it in notes, just, keep, just store it somewhere because uh, you're then going to create an account. And so uh, you will see this screen once you're logged in. And so I want you to uh, register a license key, um, which is the license key that you saved before. And then once you have your um, license key registered, it'll show up under your Parallels products. And I want you to go in here and I want you to click Active Subscriptions. I want you to click Parallels for M1. And I want you to turn off Auto Renewal. So, you know, you are not going to need this after this class. I mean, if you want to keep it great, you know, continue to play with it, that's awesome. But still, you know, go ahead and turn off the Auto Renewal uh, so that, you know, you're not charged again another 40 bucks or whatever in a, a year from now. All right. So once Parallels is downloaded, um, you can run it. And so... Um, I've already obviously downloaded a few of these suckers, so we you can go ahead and ignore that. We are going to do new. And so when you first launch Parallels, it is going to look like this. And so here's the neat thing, right? You just, it's literally going to be the first option. You can download Kali Linux. So press it, download it. It actually, will, you know, depending on your internet connection, you know, it'll download in a couple minutes. Uh, it'll also then, you know, configure for a couple minutes. And then once you have it up and running, it will launch and it will look something like this. And so the first thing you need to do is you need to create a password. And that is, so there's no initial password to log in. You haven't created it yet. Just leave it set with the drop down to parallels, create your password and you will go ahead and log in. Then it's gonna ask you for that same password that you just created. It's gonna want that again. And um, you, uh, let's keep uh, the sudo option for, for using and this is just going to, um, get you into the root account so that you can start downloading Parallels tools, which uh, you know are really helpful and slick for, for running Kali Linux. And so once um, Parallels tools downloads, it's gonna wanna restart um, Kali Linux for you. That's fine, let it restart and run. Uh, and then you will be up and running with Kali Linux on your M1 Mac. And so this is still relatively new. You know, I haven't fully tested all the labs um, with, uh, with Parallels on an M1 Mac. So, um, you know, we're going to be figuring this out together, working out some kinks. There are always some kinks, um, but uh, at least this will get you going with uh, Kali Linux on an M1 Mac. This tutorial was prepared by the Center for Cybersecurity and Privacy Protection at Cleveland Marshall College of Law, Cleveland State University.